to be or not to be? Is that even a question? If there is one thing that my father taught me before his unfortunate demise, is that it's way nobler to be the almighty king of Denmark than to be regulated to some chump prince to a lower king like you, Uncle Claudius. Yeah, Prince Hamlet sounds nice. But we all know the title that I truly deserve is King Hamlet II. Uncle, you know it to be true. You know it, I know it. Those two weird grave diggers love to joke around a little bit too much, know it? That I be the greatest king that Denmark has ever seen. If you hadn't weaseled your way to the crowd, callously knocking down everything in your path, ruthlessly destroying the lives of everyone around you, then I would have my rightful place. Because let's face it, I'm better than you, and you know it. I am the most charismatic citizen. The bravest warrior. And by far, the best looking. <laughs> well, let, let's, let's be real. You had the face only a mother could pretend to love. It's a face that my mother has to pretend to love. Now, admittedly, maybe she wouldn't have to pretend if you hadn't been such a scumbag to her or to me. If you had actually done anything of merit to earn the crown. You see, ever since my dad passed away, I've been going through a depression. I questioned whether or not life was worth living, and if I had any value to this world. But then, my father spoke to me from beyond the grave. And that's when I knew that I had purpose. See, I could pretend that this is all about getting the crown and becoming king of Denmark and nothing else. But what I truly want is to rip off your head and serve it on a platter. I want to make you suffer the way you made me suffer. I want to rip apart your spine. I want to tear out your soul if you even have one. The rivers shall flow with your blood from my hands. You made me feel like I was nothing. But I am not nothing. You are nothing. Nothing but a sickening, low-life murderer. Yes, you heard me right. The ghost of my father told me the truth. You know what I'm saying is true. So I can take your balls out of my mom's purse and admit the truth. No, I can't make you admit it. But I know it will. I saw you being just so enamored with the stupid actors and, and the little play we all saw. All that grand noise and flashiness really captivated you, didn't it? Should have known. Something has to be bright and shiny in order to keep your attention. <laughs> you love to keep a watchful eye on those shows. Paying close attention to every minute detail. Well, I'm going to put on a show. That'll be the grand finale of your reign as king. And we'll have everyone see who you truly are deep down. The place thing which I will layeth the smack it down on you. And that's the bottom line. Because Hamlet said so.